Hello, this is the LEGO City 4 Plus Roadwork Truck Set. It is small and simple, so we'll get through this quickly. Let me show you the little side accessory things first, just to kind of get them out of the way. This is a wheelbarrow and it's in green. So that's nice. We've gotten so, so many of them in red and green is, yeah, it looks pretty proper to me. I like this sign. I believe that is a new print for the triangular sign piece there on the top that's clipped, but it looks pretty good and it represents a minifigure rather than an actual, you know, normal human huge fig. So that's appropriate. You get a couple of very large traffic cones here and then just a pile of regular bricks to represent dirt and concrete and stuff to load up and move around. Since this is a four plus set, the truck, as they call it, is built on a preformed chassis piece that's essentially just a big old brick with some Technic pins sticking out the sides. And that totally works for this platform. The driver's compartment area is nice, actually. I like the roll cage around it. Got the little light on top. That print is nice. I want to get a bunch of that piece for my own use as someone who is not in the four plus. Well, technically I'm in the four plus range, but you know, not, not the, not the uh, target audience for this set, but I really like that print. It's a two by two by one slope piece. I like the fenders back here. This is a new piece for 2021. That is a two by two by two thirds the height of two plates and it just gives you texture all around. So again, nice with the pieces. And the function here is just to have this dumping bed that dumps. So the idea is that you do some, some road work, you do some construction work and you end up with, you know, some stuff. You load it in there, you take it somewhere and then you dump it out. Now, when I first saw pictures of this, I was hoping that we would be able to just move this down or forward a stud or two to get it to go all the way down to the ground. But I mean, moving it all the way there makes it just a little flimsy. Like if you push down here, it's going to start to break off. So really you don't want to move it more than one stud forward. And unfortunately that doesn't get it low enough to the ground to work totally as, as a bulldozer. It works okay for, for uh, uh, full on bricks, just barely, as long as you're on a smooth surface, if you're on carpet, forget about it but I would like something that would go all the way down to the ground just to have a little extra something that this would do. Cause you know, this is effectively working like a very small dump truck as it is, which is fine. But I feel like if they had designed this a little bit differently so that when this folds forward, it would be able to get to the ground. Then you could also use it as kind of a, a loader, maybe turn it around, use it as a loader. You could also use it as a bulldozer. And as it is right now, it just does one thing and it does that just fine. I just think they could have done better. Set also includes this random rat, which is actually a very nice mold. It's not brand new, but I like it personally quite a lot. And the reason they included it is that Lego just recently discovered that kids like toy animals. So they're putting them in more sets and I agree with that and support it 100%. The minifig is generic worker in overalls and Lego has been doing generic workers in overalls for just decades and decades now. And every once in a while they do an update. This has a slightly uh, updated print. I, I, I didn't notice when exactly they did that, but I'd like to see them switch back to doing some different colors again. They've kept this basic color scheme for quite a while, but this is perfectly fine for what it is. So I paid $10 US for this, and I think that is a good price for it. I'm happy with the value here. I'm happy with the Somewhat odd, but very appropriate inclusion of some random bricks as well, because those pieces make this into a much better starting Lego set, like first system set for a kid who either hasn't touched Lego before or has been playing with uh, Duplo up to this point. You know, with these, you can build a small retaining wall or something. And if you get an additional set, whatever it is, you can start to integrate these in. It just kind of helps the process forward, I think. And then for me personally, as an adult, again, I like the prints. <laughs> I like the, the prints for the slope piece. I like the print for this. I like the green wheelbarrow. I like the rat. Where's the rat? There's a rat right there. <laughs> so I like this tipper bucket piece. I like the roll cage. I like these texture pieces here. I like these squared off fenders. Uh, don't have enough of these yet, although these are super oversized, but still we don't get that orange color that frequently for those big uh, cone pieces. So yeah, this is just all good for everybody. Some folks will find this to be too simplified and you know, 
th that's going to be obvious, I think, uh, on a on a per user per customer basis. But overall, for what this is, for what it's trying to do, I think it's very good. I only wish that they had made this somehow able to function as a really good bulldozer without modification as well. There you go. I didn't do a build for this because a build video because it's so, so small and simple, but I will be talking to you again soon on this channel with more reviews. Bye for now.